thing I'd like to just first take the time to thank the Ivy office for, for putting this event together. It was just, I know for our guys and our staff, it was just a, a wonderful opportunity to take part uh, in such a first-class event. And I'd like to congratulate Princeton on their, their victory today. They, they certainly <clears throat> played with a lot of heart, uh, especially in that second half. And I felt like our guys came out with a lot of emotion again today. Uh, it's such a quick turnaround, playing the night game on Friday and playing here on Sunday. I just felt like in that third quarter, we probably just ran out of gas a little bit. We unraveled at the faceoff exit on our clearing game. And we just provided probably too many offensive possessions to a very dangerous Princeton team. Uh, but I give our guys a lot of credit. I thought they fought hard, um, put ourselves in the position to be back in that game at the end. Uh, and, and we gave ourselves plenty of opportunities to win it. Uh, but, but credit Princeton defense and their boy, they did a good job of keeping them in the game and then capitalizing on that last play. You know, I, thought, I thought our defense played very well today, <clears throat> holding them to you know, 10 goals in you know, total, but two goals were scored, one off the face-off X, one in transition, we just don't feel we shouldn't have. Um, so I thought, for the most part, six on six, we were fairly sound, and I think that we did a pretty good job there. Un- unsettled situation, we got our biddies coming back in the defense, and then we're probably a little bit more vulnerable. Um, but in the end, I thought... You know, sometimes you got to tip your cap to a team that makes the play. I thought Max did a great job on that last one. He, he, he did just what we asked him to as a coaching staff. So I think if anybody's to blame, it's probably us in terms of just, uh, you know, kind of he, he did what we asked him to do and he did a great job with it. And the young man scores and that's it. So either way, you'd rather have the result in a timeout or no timeout. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it. So you guys start Bronzino and no more than half of your age. Can you evaluate that group? You said you thought they played great today, but those three guys in particular? Yeah, they all played great. And uh, I thought our defense played very well today. And uh, I think that like, speaks volumes about Princeton's offense. So it's still scored 10 goals. But uh, they, they've been getting better and better each each week of the year. I mean, we started this whole season with nothing but veterans back in the defensive end. <clears throat> and it's not because our veterans have played poorly. Our, our younger kids are really just coming out strong between Fiore and Noble and, and Bronzino and you got Stephen Mock and Lost Gilman, the offensive end, all just they've done a, a great job of providing quality depth. So we're hoping that uh, you know what we did during the, the body of the regular season is just going to help us. We hopefully will have the chance to prepare for the next step in the NCAA tournament. Excellent. Last sequence. Can you just kind of talk what's going through your head and uh, how, I mean, how cognizant are you of the seconds as they're taking off? Most of only two left. Um, well, we knew. Jack McBride was a strong righty, so I was trying to get him to his left hand. But uh, he just he got a step on me as he was going to his left. Uh, clock wasn't really playing a factor. Um, not, I mean, I looked up. I mean, there's eight seconds left when he started the play. Um, and you're not, I, I'm not really thinking about that. As, as I'm dotting, I'm just trying to do the best I can to turn him back and play good defense on him. He said he had said that he had gone right most of the game, and that he just decided he was going to try to go left. And he said he thought he might take you by surprise a little bit. Did he, did he surprise you going left? Um, he, I mean, he, we expected him to go right most of the game, but he certainly has a capable left hand. It's not as if he can't go to his left hand, so it wasn't wasn't a surprise. Okay. Um, he's playing pretty straight up, just shading his right hand a little bit, but okay. he was just able to get a step on me going to his left. You know, Jeff, you, you dominated almost all the statistical categories in the first half, and you had a you, you didn't score in the two men down, two men up situation. And it seemed like did, when you went in the locker room, did you think you should have been had a little bit more than a four goal lead? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, yeah, you know, I thought it was, it was similar to Friday night's game against Brown. We felt like we were playing well, um, had a, a plenty of possession time, uh, but the scoreboard did not reflect kind of like we're talking about what we thought we were doing statistically. I think sometimes, I mean, I know that Brown's goalie had 18 saves, Princeton's goalie had 16 saves. When goalies play like that, you know, you're going to have to double up certain statistics in order to create more opportunities, more scoring chances, uh, and in, in essence, more goals. So I, I felt like we were playing well at that time, and certainly we didn't feel comfortable uh, by any stretch with our lead, knowing that the last time we played them, we were up 9 3, and we give up six goals at the end of the game within a 10 minute span. So I think we came out with the right mindset in the third quarter. I think it was more about Princeton just winning faceoffs and our inability to clear the ball. We gave back two in a row in a sequence that our offense had the ball probably once in that third quarter. 
And uh, then you get to that point, and then you start wearing the ball a little bit offensively, and then you, you know, start wearing down a little bit defensively. And I thought that that was really the key to the game. That was probably an eight-minute stretch in the third quarter where we really just didn't have a lot of momentum going from our defense into our offense, and from the face-up backs into our offensive end. And I thought that affected what uh, you know, essentially the outcome of the game. Rock, can you just talk about the last two minutes of the regulation? Yes, I think at four shots at goal, what you're trying to get there in the job, Princeton, and you defending you on those, on those? Yeah, I think we, uh, we had really rotten, great looks at the net, and you know, um, we just, we didn't want to kind of slow the ball down, we wanted to attack them, and you know, in previous, we kind of held the ball and waved that last shot, and we wanted to try and attack them, just keep on them, keep getting shots off, and then we did that, and um, I like my chances of getting a shot off um, against my defender, and and I, I kind of had the ball for a majority of those two minutes, just trying to dive and create something. And I created a few shots myself, and uh, unfortunately I couldn't get one to go. But we generated a lot of great opportunities within, within the, uh, those two minutes, and it's, we weren't uh, fortunate, enough, fortunate enough to have one more. It seems like a period of consistent you know, against the LA tonight. Is there a best way to attack him, or is he pretty solid all around? I think he's, he's, he's very solid goal. He's a great goalie. And, um, but I think you, you, you know you change it up. Um, unfortunately, a couple of my shots in the last couple of minutes did not hit the cage, so I didn't even have a chance to test him. And, um, but I think you can change it up. Early in the game, I scored one high, and uh, I think he was kind of waiting high for you know, the rest of the game. And, um, and, I, and I had to switch it up and try and go low if, if granted the opportunity. But he's a great goalie, and he, uh, you know, if you're, if you're going to get a shot off, he's going to you didn't make a save or get a piece of it or you know, if it's on cage and, you know, he's, it's not you know a good shot where he's not in a position so he's a great goal and just credit to him.